coming. Um, we're going to have a power yoga class this afternoon. Um, going to get your heart rate up and hopefully break a little bit of a sweat. But let's start in child's pose today. So bringing your big toes together, spread your knees wide on your mat, and then extend your arms long in front of you. You can rest your forehead on your mat. And just take a moment here to settle into this space, into your body. Feel, uh, notice how this child pose feels in your body. Notice where your breath is right now. And we're going to stay in this pose for a couple minutes. I'm just sitting up so that you can hear me a little bit better. But just notice the tempo of your breath. Is it short, shallow? And then begin to come into a deeper breath. Really feel your lungs expand, your rib cage expand as you begin to take deep breaths in. And as you exhale, maybe your hips fall closer to your heels, your chest comes closer to the earth between your upper arm bones. Maybe your fingertips reach a little bit farther away from your body. Lift your elbows up. And begin to bring your breath through your nose. So long inhale through your nose. Hold at the top. Exhale out through your nose. Slight constriction in the back of your throat. Inhale. Exhaling through your nose. Take about five more breaths here. Coming into your slowest, deepest breath. Straightening your legs, extend your tips to the sky, and then you can walk your dog, bending one knee at a time. Move with your breath here, maybe inhaling as you bend one knee. Exhale to straighten that knee and bend the other. Take a few rounds of um, breath here, inhaling deep. Exhale through your nose. Inhaling through your nose. And exhale. Walk your feet up to meet your hands. Come into ragdoll. So feet are hip width distance apart. Grab opposite elbows. Inhale, feel your belly pulling in and up. And on the exhale, let the crown of your head just hang heavy. If it feels good, sway back and forth. Just completely release the effort or any tension you might be holding onto in your neck. Release your hands. And one vertebra at a time, come to standing. Your head comes up last. You can take both shoulders, take some big circles, nice. All right, now find yourself grounded here in this standing position. Both the four corners of both feet rounding into your mat. You can lift both toes to feel yourself really um, 
being supported by the earth here. Let's inhale, reach up tall. And on the exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift to a flat spine. And on the exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank. Inhale here. Exhale, lower down. Inhale for up dog. Downward facing dog on the exhale. Let's uh, deepen your down dog here. So bring your knees down to a hover, just a couple inches above your mat. Take a big inhale here. And on the exhale, let your tailbone lead the way. Begin to straighten your legs and press your heels towards the earth. Take three more breaths in your down dog. And after that third breath, step or hop to the front of your mat. Halfway lift on the inhale. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rise tall. Exhale, hands through heart center, Tadasana. Inhale, reach up, look up. On the exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, plant your hands, step back. Take an inhale here. On the exhale, low plank. Keep that straight line in your body. Inhale for up dog. Downward facing dog on the exhale. We're going to do a couple more of those, except a little bit faster paced. Uh, think one breath per movement. So from your down dog on the inhale, step or float to the top of your mat, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Uh, rise tall on the inhale. Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale to fold. Halfway lift. On the exhale, step it back. Inhale here. Exhale to low. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Next, inhale, step or float to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Rise up on the inhale. Exhale to Dasana. Inhale, reach up, look up. On the exhale, folding forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, step it back. High plank. Exhale to low. Remember, knees are always an option. Inhale, up dog. Downward facing dog on the exhale. We're going to hold here for a few breaths. Maybe you're starting to sweat. I know I am a little bit. I got my heart rate up. Hold in your down dog. Sorry, I'm just fixing my hair. But you keep breathing. We're going to take a couple sun bees now. So on the inhale, step or float to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Ugatas in a chair pose. So sit your hip float, sweep your arms up. And now, if you have a little curve right here, tuck your booty towards the earth. Now, I think you have a little bit more in you. So sit a little bit deeper here. Make sure your knees are stacked over your ankles. Now, like you're holding a big beach ball, take that ball and reach it to the front. Maybe your chest even touches your thighs. Now, keep your legs where they are and lift your beach ball up. Hold here two more breaths. And now, inhale, reach up tall. On the exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. On the exhale, step back. Plank, take an inhale here. Exhale, lift. 
Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Next inhale, warrior one. Step your right foot forward. Back heel spins down. Reach your arms to the sky. Think about sparking your fingers. Now, if that ease with your effort here, I can already tell I'm wearing my shoulders like earrings. Relax in your shoulders. Put a smile on your face. That helps everything. Now, see if you can come a little lower in your warrior. Find some ease with your effort, but allow that ease to soften. Allow it to take you a little bit deeper. Next inhale, maybe take a tiny back bend. On the exhale, plant your hands. Coming down, you can try a three-legged chaturanga on the exhale. Inhale for up dog. Downward facing dog on the exhale. <sighs> I'm losing my breath a little bit. Hopefully y'all can still understand me. Walk your dog. Next inhale, warrior one on the left. Left foot forward. Rise up. Now, find where you can soften here. Lift the inner arches of both feet. Press through the pinky toe side of your back foot. Come a little bit deeper. Slow your breath. Next inhale, look up. On the exhale, plant your hands, take it back. Inhale in your high plank, exhale to lower. Inhale for up dog. Downward facing dog on the exhale. Now I was just showing you a three-legged chaturanga with one leg lifted, that is completely optional. Take a moment here, walk your dog, find that same steady breath you had at the beginning of your practice. All right, we're gonna go for a couple more sun bees. That's what we just did with the chair and warrior one. So on the inhale, step or float to the top of your mat, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, Ugatasana. Weave your arms up, sit left. Inhale to rise. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. On the exhale, plant your hands, step back, high plank, exhale low, upward facing dog, downward facing dog on the exhale, warrior one on the right, this time I'm going to flow through it, inhale to rise, exhale, plant your hands, step it back, high plank, inhale here, exhale low. Inhale, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog on the exhale. Next, inhale, warrior one on the left. Rise up. Exhale to lower. Step it back, plank. Inhale here. Exhale, low. Upward facing dog on the inhale. Downward facing dog on the exhale. One more, inhale, Ugatasana at the front of your mat. Make it the best one yet. Let's sit a little bit lower. Let's hold this for a couple breaths. Draw in to create your fullest expression out, whatever that means for you and your body today. Inhale to rise, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back to plank. Inhale here. Exhale, lift. Upward facing dog. Down dog on the exhale. Warrior one on the right. It's the last one for now at least. Make it your best. 
Exhale, plant your hands. Step it back to plank. Lower down. Upward facing dog on the inhale. Down dog on the exhale. Warrior one on the left. On your exhale, plant your hands, step it back, high plank. Exhale, low. Upward facing dog. Child's pose on the exhale. Take a moment here. Find your breath. Towel off, get a sip of water if you need it. I know I'm already breaking a sweat. And come back into your breath. Sing that same slow, steady, controlled breath.
Notice how different this down dog feels than the very first one you took. It might feel more restorative or more restful. The only thing that's changed is our perspective. The pose is still the same. All right, warrior two on the right. Right foot forward. Open up. Now, straighten your front leg into triangle, Trigonasana. So, right arm extends forward, then bring it to the outer side of your right leg. Extend your left arm up. So, think about your shoulders stacked on top of one another here. Think about expanding in every direction. Like as though you are being smushed between two window panes of glass, and you're so much that you are stretching out in every single direction. Gaze at your top thumb. This is a great pose for focus. And if your body's saying, get me out of here, that's exactly when the pose supposedly begins. The minute you want to get out. But when we stay, in these situations that we're uncomfortable or that we don't want to be in, it really truly does teach us to be comfortable in any situation or in any place that we may have before looked at as uncomfortable. All right, bring it back up to standing and come back once more into your warrior two. Extended side angle. So bring your right elbow to the top of your right thigh. Extend your left arm towards the front of your mat. So think about long line of energy between the outer edge of your left foot all the way to the front of the room. Now you can stay here if you want to go a little deeper. You can bring your bottom arm down, but just don't put all your weight in there. You're lifting from here, lifting from your core. Now, Extra challenge that beach ball we had earlier. Right hand goes to the front of the room, grab that beach ball. Lift it up. Oh, yowza. On the exhale, windmill your arms, step it back, high plank. Exhale to low. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog on the exhale. All right, warrior two on the left. Best warrior yet. Straighten your front leg. Reach your left fingertips forward. Come into your pyramid, Trigonasana. So think about expanding in every direction. Use your breath to calm your mind. Send the breath to any places you might be holding on to tension. Keep your 
Ujjayi breath here, that strong breath coming in through your nose, steady stream of air. Pausing at the top, exhaling just as long as your inhale was. Alright, on the inhale, step or float to the top of your mat, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rise tall. Exhale to Dasana, hands to heart center. Uttasana, chair pose. Now, this is the pose that I really didn't want to do. I never do. Is that usually what we don't want to do is what we need the most. So, from Uttasana, think about inhaling, zipping up through the center line of your body. Getting tall, exhale, hands to heart center. From here, inhale, pull your belly in and up, create space. And on the exhale, twist to the right. Hook your left elbow, the outside of your right thigh. And take your gaze over your top shoulder. So think, inhale, create space, get tall in your spine. Exhale, press your hands together. Twist a little further, take your gaze a little further. Where our gaze goes, our body will follow. Now everybody, take your gaze, check your knees out. If one knee is jutting out in front of the other, bring it back into line with the other one. Keep that in mind before we go into the other side. All right, on the inhale, come back through center, rise up. Exhale, Uttasana. Inhale, create space, belly in and up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, create space. Exhale to twist to the left. Check your knees out if one is jutting out. Bring it back in line with the other. Inhale, create space. Exhale, gaze over your top shoulder. Press your hands against one another to create an opening in your shoulders. Each inhale, create space. And each exhale, move into that space you created. Bring it back through, forward fold, halfway to lift. On the exhale, fold forward. Step your feet, hip width distance apart. That's about the width of two fists. Use your peace fingers, grab your big toes. Inhale, halfway lift. On the exhale, pull your toes up and uh, release any effort in your neck, any tension. Just let your head hang heavy. You can pull your elbows back around towards your thigh, your calves. Now, release your big toes. Let's come into gorilla pose. So, going to step your right, the right palm underneath your right foot, or left, and right underneath right. Then inhale, halfway lift, pull the pit of your belly in and up. Exhale, bend your elbows, allow yourself to fold. Now this is one of those places that you can get to that wobbly, that unsteady feeling by putting more weight into the balls of your feet, more towards your toes, that place that you feel like you could fall over, but it's your bonda, your core, that keeps you from doing that. But go to that place that might make you feel a little bit wobbly, because we do not grow when we stay in our comfort zones. Release your hands. One vertebrae at a time, come back up to standing. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands through heart center. All right, let's um, come into a little bit of balance. So, um, your balance is coming from here. It's coming from engagement and your breath. And set your gaze to a non-moving point um, somewhere out in um, front of your mat. Go ahead and find yourself um, Get, get that 
feeling of groundedness here. So lift the toes off your mat, feel the four corners, your feet grounding down, feel your outer shins hugging in, your kneecaps lifting, thighs are engaged, bond up in and up, tailbone tucks to the earth. Now think about on the inhale, think about someone's pulling a string through the top of your head like you're a puppet. So inhale, start to lift, exhale, hands by your sides, shoulders are back and down. Now let's start with a tree pose today. So your tree can be here, it can be here, it can be up here. Where I don't want it is on your knee, don't press your knee out. And set your gaze. And it's not movable wobbly because I'm talking, not breathing. Set your gaze. Find your breath. Strongest breath yet. I like to look at an electrical outlet, as silly as that sounds. But think about it. It's just sitting on the wall. It really isn't doing much of anything. But inside it has the energy to power up anything in your house. So think about your core, your banda like that, your inner fire. So when you're engaged, when you're really got your mind on whatever it is you want to accomplish, maybe it's balance, you, can, you have the power to ignite that, that inner fire. So two more breaths here. If you come out, no worries, shake it off, come back in. After your second breath, release. Shake it out. And let's go for the same thing, other side. So, ground down into your right foot. Think about lifting from here, lifting from your core. Lifting your left leg up, coming into your tree pose here. Steady breath, strong deep breath, steady gaze. Keep water in your standing leg. Maybe your balance over mine today. Wherever your balance is, no judgment, just accept it for what it is at this point in time. If I were to get upset every time I fall over in a yoga class or at home, I would probably be in a deep, deep depression. Just gotta laugh it off and know that makes you normal. Extra challenge, take your arms up, maybe take your gaze up into a tiny back bend, and then release, shake it out. And let's come into Eagle Pose. Now, take any or all of this. We'll start um, ground down into your left foot. And here's a little tip if you are on um, a mat, balance is a little bit easier the harder the surface. So, ground down into your left foot, and then we're going to take your right leg over your left, right arm under your left. Now, I'm actually going to come to the side so you can see. Now, engage your, pull your belly in and up. Lift your elbows to shoulder height. Press your hands away from your face. Now, if you need a little kickstand to get stability, just drop that um, lifted toe down. Or, if you want, you can wrap all the way. Now, for a little challenge here, inhale big, on the exhale, elbows to your knees, inhale to rise, exhale, elbows to your knees, inhale, rise up, exhale, elbows to your knees, coming back up on the inhale. Release with control. Shake it out. All right. Same thing, other side. The grounding down into your right foot. Left leg comes over. Left arm comes under. Everything squeezing into the center line of your body. Elbows to shoulder height. Press hands away from face. Gaze out beyond your hands. Inhale here. On the exhale, begin to hinge. Inhale to rise. We have two more. Exhale, 
Inhale it in. Inhale to rise. Exhale to hinge. Ooh, inhale to rise. And release. Shake it out. All right. Come back to your mat. Let's rinse that out with a vinyasa. So inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift on the inhale. On the exhale, put your hands, pull high plank. Let's stay in this plank for just a minute. If you want a little added core, let's top it out in a few times. So ready? I'm going to go out, in. Keep that straight line. Out, in. Out, in. Two more. Out, in. Out, in. Now let's lower down the counter five. So rock forward. Exhale, begin to lower down. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. And then just let your favorite cheek rest on your mat. Bring your arms down, palms facing up. And just let your body completely release the air or be supported by the earth. Come back to your breath. Feel the beating of your heart. Notice how yummy that feels. Notice your breath, how nourishing it is to your body. And then bring it back to center. Your forehead's going to come down to your mat. And then your arms by your sides, palms facing down. Now, same thing on the inhale. Think about that string pulling through the center line of your body, through the crown of your head, so you're zipping up. Your legs are engaged. Now, next inhale, begin to peel your forehead off your mat. You're using your core for this, your chest up. Reach your fingertips back towards the back of your mat. Using those to lift your chest even a little more. Gaze right at the top of your mat. Keep it straight fine. Hold here. Three more breaths. If this feels, um, if this is uh, putting any pressure on your low back, please come out of it. On the exhale, lower down. And then, since I mentioned your low back, if another option is uh, baby cobra, bringing your arms. Uh, your hands underneath your shoulders and just lifting up here, having that little bit of extra support. Um, but windshield up your legs. And this time we're going to take one more round and we'll bring our legs into it. So come back to center, zip up on the inhale, lift up. Now, if you're okay here, lift your legs, flex your feet though towards the earth. Maybe you lift a little bit higher. Maybe you get so high that your hip bones or your hips are the only thing touching the earth. Three more breaths. Draw in to create your fullest expression out. After your third breath, come down. And show up with your legs. And bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Come into Upward Facing Dog, but hold here a moment. We usually come in and out of this pose so quickly in our vinyasas, but take a moment here, really push your shoulders back and down. Think about this as opening your heart space, lift your heart space up. Press the tops of your feet into your mat, lift your thighs, engage. And then Downward Facing Dog on the exhale. This down dog should feel pretty yummy right now. You can get wiggly with it, whatever feels good in your body. Come back to your breath. Now, bring me up uh, both of your feet together at the back of your mat and extend your right leg up to the sky. Now bend your knee, come into three-legged dog. So 
Try to keep the same amount of pressure in each hand and stack one hip over the other. Now you can stay right here or if you'd like to flip your dog, bring your top leg over, extend your right arm to the front of your mat, reach. Now bring it back over and extend your leg back up. Come into half pigeon. So your right leg's going to come forward and take a moment here to set your alignment. So you want to get tall here and check out your left leg. You want it straight out of your hip like an arrow. Press the top of that foot into your mat. What you don't want is to be rolling over onto your right hip. So pressing that foot down into the earth keeps that from happening. Now if your foot, if your leg's not at a 90 degree angle, you can tuck your foot under, don't flex your foot. But now inhale here, get tall. And on the exhale, begin to walk your arms forward. Now, if you have tight hips like I do, you may still be up here, and that's a-okay. Wherever you are, keep breathing, keep finding softness. See what you can let go of here. And maybe as you breathe and you soften a little bit more, you, um, your chest comes a little bit toward, more towards the earth. Maybe your arms extend long. And we're going to stay here for a couple minutes. So just breathing into this pose. This is one of those poses where my body says, get me out of here. Um, but it's one of those poses I've learned that once I just accept that that's where I am and I breathe into it, let everything else go, and just accept the breath, I find a little more softness, a little more into this. Um, it's where we hold a lot of emotions in our hips and if you allow yourself to find ease in here, to let go of any place we're holding on to tension, whether it's mentally or physically, you can really get a breakthrough in this pose. So hold here for five more breaths. Instead of thinking, oh, I, only, I have five more breaths, I only have five more breaths, they think, wow, I get five more breaths to find something new, to go somewhere new. into your body and then press back to your down dog. Shake it out. However, you need to release your hip. And then let's go for the same thing on the other side. So big toes come together, a left leg extends, and come into three-legged dog. Bend your knee, stack your hips, flex your foot. Oh, I feel it in my hip. And then if you want, flip your dog. Push your hips towards the sky. Raise your front fingers. Bring it back over, three-legged dog. And set up for your half pigeon on this side. So left leg comes through. Take a moment here, walk your right leg behind you. Get tall here. And on the exhale, begin to walk it forward. Now your two hips may feel like they belong to two different bodies here. Mine usually do. Accept your body at each side, wherever it is right now. For me, this truly is a pose about letting go. So, things that we are holding on to that no longer serve us, 
we let go of them, we create space for something new. And usually this is something mental for me. And once I let go of whatever it is I'm holding on to mentally, it um, follows with physically letting go of it and finding softness and ease. So whatever it is you can let go of here, maybe it's worry, maybe it's anxiety, maybe it's self-doubt, regret, unforgiveness. There's so much that we can tend to torture ourselves with that just doesn't serve us. What can you let go of here? Three more breaths. Create space for something new in your body. After your third breath, begin to walk it in. And then just bring your back leg around to meet your front. Shake it out here. Let's take a forward fold. So on the inhale, reach up. On the exhale, fold forward. You can keep a bend in your knees. Think about tall spine here, though. Think nose to toes, chin to uh, shin. Inhale, think tall spine, lengthen out. The exhale, melt a little bit more. Now your hands can be right here, wherever they reach. Inhale, tall spine. Exhale to melt. Notice when you take your time with each inhale, creating a little more space, a little more length. You ease a lot more into it on the exhale. You can just let your body ease into that space you created. Inhale, create space. Exhale, move into that space you created. Three more breaths here if you want to just completely release your head or neck. After your third breath, begin to walk it back up. And bring the soles of your feet together here. So let's first start with the, um, your feet a little farther away from your body. And belly in, inhale. Tall spine, create space. On the exhale, fold forward. Come to your first edge, that first place your body says, oh, that's enough. And then inhale. Belly in, tall spine. Exhale to fold. You can uh, keep your pinky toes out of your feet together and allow your feet open like the page of a book. Think open feet, open hips. Inhaling, creating space. Exhaling, melting. Inhaling, creating space. Exhale to melt. Now bring it back up. And let's do that same fold, except just bring your feet a little bit closer to your body. And inhale tall, exhale folding. Come to your first edge, which is not very far with me. You should really feel this in your inner thighs. Inhaling, um, tall spine, exhale melt. So I might get here and say, oh, that is enough, because I sure do feel it. But just by using each breath to soften and just coming a little tidbit, micro, mic, I don't know the word I'm looking for, <laughs> minuscule amount. Um, it sounds like it should start with micro, but each breath allowing yourself just to come with ease a little bit deeper. That's how we get somewhere new. That's how we progress, not forcing it. Walk it back in, and then bring your knees um, up or the soles of your feet down. Bring your arms behind you and just sway your legs side to side. 
Now give yourself a hug here. Bring your elbows to the outside of your knees and just let your head and neck get heavy here. Now inhale, tall. On the exhale, make a C curve. So pretend I'm pulling your belly back and your shoulders are pulling forward. You can even use your knees, press out against your elbows, get a stretch between your shoulder blades. Inhale, tall. Exhale, C curve. Inhaling tall, exhale, C curve. One more, inhale tall, and then extend your legs out in front of you. Take three walking arms here. Inhale, tall side. On the exhale, like I'm pulling you back, and your arms are pulling forward. One vertebra at a time. Come down slowly. Good. Hug your knees into your chest here. Rock side to side. And I hope you liked eagle pose earlier because we're going to use that for abs. So we're going to come back into eagle legs. Right leg over left, right arm under. Now on the inhale, extend long. Exhale, bring it in. Crunch it in. Inhale long. Exhale, bring it in. Let's do eight more on this side. One. Inhale long. Exhale. Crunch it in. Maybe you lift higher. Six more, right? Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one on this side. You can bring your head down. Before we switch sides, rock it out. And then bring your left leg over, left arm under. On the inhale, get long. Exhale, bring it in. Good for nine, eight, seven, six, Four, three, two, and one. Good. Release. Hug your knees in. Rock side to side. And let's come into a back bend. So if you practice full wheel, which is a back bend, you go ahead and go there. Um, I'm going to call bridge pose. So for bridge pose, feet are hip width distance apart. So are your knees. On the inhale, lift your hips towards the sky. Now, I'm not going to stay in this kind of pose because I have, I'm careful of my neck. But you stay here. I'm coming back down, but I'm going to count you in for three more breaths. So Two more long, steady breaths in your bridge pose. Last breath, create your fullest expression. And on the exhale, lower down. We have one more round of bridge pose, so, um, or wheel. Go ahead, create a picture in your head of where you want your pose to be. And on the inhale, go there, bridge or wheel. You stay there for five breaths. After your fifth breath, come down. Come into recline butterfly. Bring the soles of your feet together, knees are wide, right hand on your heart, left hand on your belly. And take a moment here, I always like to tune in, this is uh, end of this pose, I think of it as a constant flow of energy that you're creating in your body. So you stay right here, and I'm only sitting up so, I can, so you can hear me a little better. But your eyes are closed. 
And just take a moment to tune in to what's going on. I heard a song earlier today that said, you can dance in the middle, in a hurricane, as long as you're in the eye. And that really hit home with me. I thought, wow, um, no matter how chaotic our world is or a hurricane can be, when you're swirling around with the wind, with all that that's going on around, you're going to be amongst the chaos. You're creating that, that whirlwind in your life. But if you can find stillness and find peace, and find that place of complete just peace and um, acceptance that you would have in the middle of a storm in the eye without the winds, just knowing that you can't control whatever else is going on around us in that storm. But if you can find that stillness, then you can dance there. You can find the magic. You can dance in the middle of a hurricane. And that just hit home for me today, thinking, you know, I can get into the worry and, and this and that, or I can just accept it and enjoy that time with my family and take the time that, what do we always want? Less and want more time. Well, take that opportunity now because whatever state of mind we're in, it's not changing what's going on on the outside. So you have the power to change your experience and find your dance. So from this pose, take about three more breaths and notice what dance you want to create in your body, what energy you have flowing that you'll take with you from this practice. And when you're ready, bring your knees back to center. You can release your arms down by your side. Um, actually, we're going to take one more little twist before we go into Savasana. So hug your knees in, rock side to side. And then allow your legs to drop over to the left. Just feel that last stretch, that twist in your spine. Smile if you have something to smile about. I know I do, just to be connected with you all and teaching. It's a true blessing and to be able to practice. Bring your knees back to center and twist to the right. Bring your knees back to center and prepare for Savasana, your final resting pose. So your feet extend to the outer edges of your mat. Arms come by your sides, palms up. Let's take a couple follow-up breaths together. Inhale big. Sigh it out. Two more, inhale, biggest breath yet. Sigh it out. Last one, biggest breath. Take in any last sip of air. Sigh it out. From this place of physical and mental stillness, letting go of all effort. Enjoy your Savasana.
begin to bring some awareness back into your body. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Bring one knee in, then the other. Give yourself a big hug. And come over onto your right side. Use your arms like a pillow. And take a moment here with your eyes closed to acknowledge yourself for practicing. And think of one thing that you will take away from this practice with you. Maybe it's an attitude, a mindset. Maybe you're proud of yourself for trying something new, whatever it might be. When you're ready, press yourself up to an easy seated position. Let's take one last breath together, bringing your arms out by your side. Think about scooping up all this yummy energy you created in your body and in your space. And um, energy is contagious. So even in this um, technological world that we're living in right now, it truly is. So inhale. Scoop up that yummy energy. Exhale, bring it to your heart center. The light and love in me honors the light and love in each one of you. Bring your thumbs to forehead center. I bow to you with a smile on my face and say namaste. Thank you all 